Due to the wind noise, I'll have to do a bit of a voiceover here. I took the Mosin and the Nant out and I wanted to shoot it at 300 yards. The first volley I shot, uh, five rounds, that was the first shots of the day for myself. So once I got the uh, rust knocked off, it got a little better on the second volley. But here, enjoy the video and see what you think of an old rifle and some cheap Chinese surplus ammunition. So there's the target here. Uh, I get about a minute of of the moon, I think. Two down here. One, two, three, four, and five. So uh, I'm going to go back and try that again. That was just fair. I'd love to say that's the group that I got from the Mosin Nagant. However, uh, that's from the uh, Savage Target rifle at 300 yards. All right, well, here's the uh, target at 300 yards. One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty happy with that. That's probably as good as I can shoot that rifle with that ammunition. So uh, I'm not sure the size of the group, but it's inside of a figure 12 target. So... Um, all of these would have been on, on target had I been shooting at somebody at 300 yards with a basically World War I technology, so don't laugh at your Mosin and the Gaunts, at least not at 300 yards. Alright, so this is the target I was shooting on, it's figure 12, 59 type A, and it's got a 15 inch circle on it. Um, I figured my group was from about here to about here, or perhaps just out here. So that's about nine inches, maybe eight and a half, if I'm being kind to myself. This is the ammunition that I was shooting. It is Chinese ammo uh, surplus, and well, let's see if I can get a shot of the head stamp. But the stuff probably comes out of the rifle about 2,600 feet per second, maybe it's a little slow. I'm told by a pretty good source that it was probably Chinese uh, machine gun ammo. Alright, here's the head stamp. I'm not sure if that's a 19 or a 61 right here. And then that would be an 11 regardless down below. So that might mean something to somebody.